All right, uh, today I'll do an integral on trigonometric substitution. So uh, the integral that we will consider is x cubed over the square root of 1 minus x squared um, dx. The main idea is to change this to a trigonometric expression that we can integrate. So before I do this example, let me just do a brief um, uh, review or introduction of what the main technique looks like. So as you can see here, this integral involves this expression 1 minus x squared. Uh, so, or we might consider expressions that might look like this 1 plus x squared or x squared minus 1 or even something like 4 minus x squared. Um, things that may involve uh, uh, 1 plus 9x squared. So all those uh, uh, can be tackled using trigonometric substitution. So here, if you look at this particular one, for, for example, if x was sine theta, then 1 minus x squared would be 1 minus sine squared theta, which we know is cos squared theta. So if you look at square root of 1 minus x squared. First of all, the domain is um, x inside of minus 1 to 1. So x has to be between minus 1 and 1. Well, if you look at the sine function, x equals sine theta is a good function because the uh, value of sine theta is between minus 1 and 1. And if you just restrict theta from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, we'll be covering a, a window of theta so that this runs from negative 1 up to 1. And within this window, um, there are a few things that we can see that the, the cosine function is positive. So the square root of one minus the square root of one minus x squared, which is supposed to be one minus cosine squared theta. Uh, I'm sorry, sine squared theta. One minus sine squared theta would be the square root of cos squared theta, which is absolute value of cosine theta. But Cosine theta within this interval is positive, so you just get you're just gonna get cosine theta. So, uh, without going into much details, if we do the appropriate trig substitution for those expressions, then the ex the square roots will come out to be the positive of that function. Uh, you won't have any trouble. And so, what kind of substitution would you make if this was let's say one plus x squared? Well, you would do x be tan theta. Uh, and and therefore dx would be sex squared theta d theta and also this expression would come out to be second of theta if it was let's say 4 minus x squared well you would do x b 2 sine theta or cos theta it works the same 2 sine theta for example uh, so that the square root of 4 minus x squared would look like the square root of 4 minus 2 sine theta squared, which gives you 4 sine squared theta. And if you factor the 4 out, that would give you 2 times the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta, uh, which gives you 2 times the square root of cosine the squared theta. But that's absolute value of cosine theta. So for the appropriate value of theta, that would just be 2 cosine theta. So this expression simplifies to that expression. And with this expression, uh, dx would, would just be um, 2 cosine theta d theta. So we can make substitutions to each one of these for the appropriate trig function. For example, for this one, I would say x equals secant of theta would work. For this guy, I would say 3x equals tangent theta would work because then I would have 1 plus tan squared theta. And in this case, 
dx would be one third of or three dx would be tan uh, six squared theta or one third six squared theta d theta would, would be what you would get for dx okay um, let me just add one more so let's say we have the square root of uh, <coughs> excuse me let's say we have four minus nine x squared and I would use a sine or a cosine expression uh, for the substitution. So I would say, okay, 3x equals 2 sine theta. Then um, the expression 4 minus x, 9x squared would equal, simplify to 4 minus, which is 4 sine squared theta. Sorry which is 4 times 1 minus sine squared theta, which equals 4 cos squared theta. So that if you stick this into the uh, square root, it comes out to be 2 cosine theta. So this is the kind of substitution we're going to make. Now, I'm going to go back to my problem and see if I can integrate this expression, OK? So let's do the integral of x to the thirds over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. So like we said before, let x be sine theta. Then dx becomes cosine theta d theta. Okay. Also, the square root of 1 minus x squared becomes the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta, which becomes the square root of cosine theta. So cosine squared theta, absolute value of cosine theta, but for the right theta values, it'd be cosine theta. Okay? Yes. So the integral of x to the thirds over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx would equal um, sine to the third theta over this expression is cosine theta times dx is cos theta d theta, and that cancels, giving you the integral of sine to the third theta d theta. So we have to do the, this integration of this expression, the sine to the third theta d theta. For that, we apply uh, the technique we learned in the trig integral. So I would write it as sine squared theta times sine theta d theta. But sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta. So that gives me 1 minus cos squared theta times sine squared, sine theta d theta. If you let u be cosine theta, then du will be minus sine theta d theta. So this value here is almost du. It's just a negative of du. So the integral this integral becomes 1 minus u squared times negative of du. So I'll stick the minus out here. Or actually, I can do it as u squared minus 1 du, which gives you u to the thirds over 3 minus u plus c. Or what was u again? u is cosine theta. So you get cosine cubed theta over 3 minus cosine theta plus c. Now, we need to know what cosine theta is in terms of x. What we know is that x equals sine theta. Well, lucky for us, we know what cos theta is in terms of x. For otherwise, we would have to figure out, um, make a triangle to figure out what, sine, what, what cosine theta is. Well, this guy, th we, we just got lucky here, so this is the square root of 1 minus x squared to the thirds over 3 minus the square root of 1 minus x squared plus c. And that's the integral. Well, I hope this helps. Um, we'll take care. Bye.